Hello, today we're going to look at creating custom email templates inside Shipping Easy. We are capable of fully customizing any emails that get sent out via our application, everything from messaging to logos. Please make sure annotations are turned on in YouTube using the gear icon in the bottom right. To start, click Settings on the blue bar up at the top. Then on the left side, under Account Settings, select Email Templates. To create a new template, just click Add New in the top right. The first thing we'll do is give the template a name and select the type. We can select either Shipping Confirmation Email or Return Shipping Email. Confirmation Email is the email your customer will get after a label has been purchased for their shipment, and the Return Shipping Email is the email they will receive if they need to return something to they purchased from you. And the return shipping email is the email they will receive if they need to return something they purchased from you. This will automatically include the return label for them to print and use. Give the email a subject and we're ready to start customizing. Now you can build the template from scratch if you like. Just use the tools in the blue bar here to add tables, lists, links, and text. Now if you like one of our default emails and you just want to make some changes to it, click the load default button here. This is our default shipping confirmation email, which is customizable. Everything between the braces is a variable that's pulled from your store settings or the order information. You can add variables using the buttons on the right side here. Just move your mouse cursor to where you want the variable to be and select the variable you want to add. Keep in mind there are a lot of variables, so you can really make these things look however you want them to look. For a full rundown on everything you can do to customize an email template, click the link on your screen right now for our knowledge base article. Hit create template to save it and you've created a new email template. Once you've created a template, don't forget to set it as the active template. For emails, this is done on a store by store basis. So first you go to settings, then stores and orders in the bottom left. Select the store you want to change your template for and scroll down to the communications section. There you'll see drop downs for the different email templates. Your created templates will populate along with the defaults. Select the one you want to use for this store and hit save at the bottom. You've updated the email for this store. Remember, store by store basis. To learn about creating and activating packing slip templates, click the link on your screen right now.